Hi, good morning. We are going foraging this morning today. It's 7.30. And we're gonna go pick some thimble berries. So I figured I'd bring you guys along with us. Too late for thimbleberries. Since it was too late for the thimbleberries, we're just going to be harvesting some blackberries on our land. And then I should make jam later. I'm gonna slip and die. My basket, not a ton, and then Katie's. She definitely beat me. She's the picker of the day. We have a mix of, we have a mixture of Californian and Himalayan blackberries on our property. Um, the Californians are just smaller and a little bit sweeter. And the Himalayan blackberries are invasive and it's usually what you find in your grocery store. So we're gonna save like half for eating and half for jam. So I've pitted eight pounds of plums that came from a coworker. So I'm gonna make some plum jam. Until everything liquefies. It says 45 minutes. I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Is this like two cups? I 
I've got my jars getting ready to be boiled. I use the little rings from the top to keep the jars elevated so they're not getting direct heat from the burner, but it's still hot enough for when the water boils to sanitize the jar and to can once we have jam in there. And then my jam is just put it on there, wait for that to cook down and coagulate. And then I am making a nice coffee with the mocha pot because so we're gonna have a coffee while this is jamming down. So and watching a fall seed video of Jess Sowards on Roots and Refuge. And she's the person who I learned how to can from. So that's what we're gonna do. And this cutie just Mm. The fan really sets it off. Can you go over here? It's a nice chest. Okay, so I'm done with jam. This is what we ended up with. Just barely under two jars of the blackberry jam. Eight full jars of the spiced plum jam, which in my opinion is the best recipe that I've tried out of the three of these. Um, blackberry jam's a little too sweet. This is chef's kiss, perfect. I'll share the um, canning recipe and the jam recipe that I got from Pinterest. And then this is just um, strawberry jam that I made um, like a week or two ago when our fridge broke and all of the strawberries that I was saving from summertime um, in the freezer thawed. So I had to do something with them. Um, so yeah, this is my first time making and canning jam. I've made like a quick jam recipe. Um, this recipe came from uh, Little Pines cookbook, their jam cook uh, recipe. It asked me to add water and it's a little, I don't know if because the strawberries were frozen before and they thawed, who knows, but it's a little runny. This spiced plum jam, perfect. Um, I ended up getting probably like 15 pounds of plums from a coworker, um, and that's what I made jam out of for these. Um, and then of course you saw the blackberry jam. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed me jamming around, making jam. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Besitos.